I just ate, so I was 158.2. I'm gonna knock off a pound, because that's probably about how much food and water I have inside of me. But that weight is so consistent, it's like, how does the body do that? And how come it doesn't work for everybody? I've got some editing I wanna get done right now because my hard drives are messing up. I need to get some... This is one of those instances where I wanna get some work done. It's time to get the work done. Enjoy this time lapse while I get the work done. This is the current weather conditions. Wet and miserable, but very beautiful. And very cold. It's funny how much time I've spent in backyards in my life and how little time I've spent in my own backyard. Like, I don't think I've ever walked this far back before. Got a nice little, like, forest or something back here. I actually think there's some trails back there that one of our neighbors owns. Why are all of our fences open? Are they supposed to be open? Well, I guess I'll go check them out real quick. Do some hiking in my own backyard without even knowing that I could. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> I had no idea this was here. Dude, these are like fairly extensive too. What? What is happening right now? What? There's a huge trail here. This is really funny. I had no idea this trail was so extensive. Oh, and there's a nice bench over here. Check this out. That is too funny, man. I had no idea that there was Adventure Archives material back in my own backyard. Ooh, it's cold though. Do you know there's a whole Adventure Archives trail back there? Yeah. Like, that's like, we could film a whole episode over there. Have you been back there? Yeah. Wow, I had no idea it was so big. So this right here is my Game Boy Advance SP, and I've been playing a little game called Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. And it is a sequel to this game, Final Fantasy Tactics. And this game is like this dark political drama, and it's all serious, and like, there's war, and it's like, mm. But this game was all like, so much less dark and there was such a less emphasis on story. Like there wasn't like all less twists and turns and stuff. So I gave up on it after like 10 or so hours. And for the last 15 years, I've been like, man, I should have loved this game. Like the concept is so cool. You get transported to another world. And over the years, I keep trying to give it another chance. And then just like in the last week, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give this a real chance because I love the way it opens up. Like you start in a snowball fight and you get transported to this other world. And then the one kid wants to go home and the other kids don't want to go home. And that's such an interesting story. And I don't know if it's just age or wisdom or maturity, but I can finally look at this game on its own merits and I don't compare it to its predecessor that shares the same name. And consequently, I love it. The story, while it's not like super in-depth and there's not that much of it, is incredibly interesting. And it's weird how expectations are just the start of all misery. I had expectations for what I wanted this game to be. Since I had those expectations, I couldn't look at it for what it was and actually enjoy it for what it is. Now, it's been so long and I've dropped expectations like that for so many things in my life that now I just get to look at it for what it is. I'm like, this game is... One of the reasons why I loved the original game was the soundtrack. Oh my God, it was so good. Oh man, epic. My brother, I remember he recorded some of the songs on the mini disc. <laughs> and that's funny because mini disc, <laughs> but, um. but Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced, that was one aspect where it delivered from the start and didn't disappoint me What was the soundtrack. This is actually the White Melodies, which is like an arrangement album. I've listened to this thing so many times. It's fantastic. Anyways, I just wanted to point that out because I feel like expectations so many times in my life, specifically with video games, but it's happened with lots of stuff. Expectations always like ruin your enjoyment of something for what it is. 
You know, you always compare it to something else. And for 15 years now, I haven't been able to enjoy this game because I've been comparing it to the original. And now looking at it just on its own merit, it's like, I've been missing out all these years. I got that other work done. Let's watch Rambo. One of my good friends in high school, he called controllers remotes. And I always thought that was so funny, but I guess this is a remote controller. So controllers just shorthand. Still find it funny though. Man, it is so easy to let them dishes get out of hand. You gotta nip it in the bud. Wow, they were not very nice to these horses in this movie. Like they were just straight up tripping them and their faces like bashing. You should not do that to horses for any reason. I don't care if you're making a movie or not. It's not worth that. <laughs> Otherwise pretty entertaining. <laughs> So tonight is the Video Game Awards, and I don't really care about the awards, but all the new game announcements. So I'm gonna finish Rambo before that starts. It's gonna be good times. Where's that plug? Transformers. More than meets the eye. Man, but just every Rambo movie I see, I'm more and more like, how did I not know that Solid Snake is Rambo? Like, this is basically, you could call this movie Metal Gear, and just every time they say Rambo, change it to Snake, this would be Metal Gear the movie, almost. You need a little bit more flamboyant villains and like weird stuff happening, but man, it makes me even more excited for that Metal Gear movie that's coming out. The dude who's directing that, he did an interview with IGN, and man, he knows Metal Gear. He feels Metal Gear. So I'm very excited about it. I'm very like optimistic about it. So, okay, let's watch. Okay, Rambo 3, pretty good, dumb action movie. Um, the Rambo series, I mean, they're cool, but they don't take themselves not seriously enough to kind of reach the upper echelon of dumb movies like Commando and Predator. Like Commando is like, I mean, this might be hyperbolic, but I think it's a perfect movie. Anyways, I added mileage markers to the Timberline Trail video. So the final version of this will go out for everyone on January 1st. If you're a patron, you can watch it now. We're not gonna charge for it because it's not a full episode, but we thought we'd give a bonus to the patrons anyway. The game awards start in less than an hour. I'm gonna go take a shower and then watch those. Good Game Awards, way too long. Uh, the Persona DLC for Smash was great fun. Uh, no Metroid, but I mean, if you expected Metroid, you were asking for disappointment. Smash Brothers is out right now for people who are digital. I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow for UPS, like a sad boy. Anyways though, thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Mm-hmm.